Oh, I did it. I finally did it. I literally spent like a hundred gigs recording different games trying to do it, and I finally won. I'm not gonna bother wasting your time showing you all the ways I lost, but every every match I learned something and, and tweaked a little bit of what I was doing in order to you know accommodate the different waves of shit coming at me. And I noticed in the comments some of you guys had no idea this was even a thing, so basically they just come at you in waves and they spawn in this area, and then they're gonna walk to your base and you can kind of set up a defense here where these little bunkers are to try and stop them. If your game eventually looks like this, then you know you did something wrong. Eventually I pieced together what I really needed to do in order to win. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through with this 40 minute, I cut it down, but it was like 40 minutes of footage during this game. So the first thing that I had to do was realize that there was literally no way to multitask as much as I needed to. And so what I had to do was be comfortable with the defenses at the front of the base. And what I mean is that I had to ignore it at times. And so I needed to make sure that I was comfortable knowing that it was gonna survive. And so most of my games were just finding a way to make my defenses at the front of the base feasible. And obviously money wasn't an issue, but how much time I had to invest versus how long it would last me. I found a nice balance of time that I had to waste building it for the return, you know, for how long it would get me through the game. Once I was able to do that, I could focus on building my battle fortresses. And the other thing that I finally realized, because of what I was trying to do was just pump Yuri's, and what I realized eventually was that I needed Guardian GIs as well. So I made a bunch of Yuri battle fortresses, but then I also mixed in some Guardian GIs too. And of course some snipers and yada yada yada. So this is where it got really interesting because at first I was getting beat up pretty bad at this part of the map, but then I really focused on building a lot of Rocketeers and then I used my Apocalypse tanks that I mind controlled to take out the Masterminds because I had to get my Battle Forces away from them because they would have just messed their day up. And once again, I still can't use the Battle Fortresses because this is the wave that actually, on the first day that I played this, this is where I basically died like almost every time. But with all the Rocketeers that I built, they were able to take it out. I had to eat a little bit of damage here just because, like seriously, I could not go near those Prism Tanks and those Yuris. But then when I thinned it out, I got in there and took over the rest of them. So that was pretty painless. So in the previous games I was building prism tanks, but I, I kind of scrapped that idea, and instead I went with um, the Yuri flying saucers. I don't know what the fuck they're called, which did a lot of damage. And then, like I said, the the battle fortresses that I put the Guardian GIs in really helped out a lot too, because even though it looks like I have a lot of Rocketeers and the little discs, they were completely overwhelmed with all the air attacks towards the end of the match and that's why the battle fortresses made such a huge difference. 
because you'll see pretty much right after this wave it just gets horrendous with all of the air. So I kind of use the Apocalypse tanks as the fodder and then I come in with the Battle Fortresses and take over everything. It worked out really well. And here's where the air heavy offense starts coming in. And for whatever reason, these helicopters went right into the center of my defense. Which in other games, they were like going straight into the base, like going left or right, not going right down the center. But this way, it made it really easy, and I took them out pretty quickly. So then once again the masterminds came in and I had to back out really quickly. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. With my battle fortresses. Unit promoted. Unit lost. And I wanted to keep them away from my little defense setup right at those bunkers for as long as possible. Just so they could do some damage when I really needed them to. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. So this is nuts. Look at all those Kirovs, but the good news is my, I mean, my Rocketeers and my little flying disc things are pretty impressive too. Unit promoted. Unit ready. Unit promoted. Look at that shit. So in every other game, like even when I was getting close to winning, so I was the last probably five or ten games, I was getting it down to like two minutes. There's a little timer in the bottom right that counts down how long you have to defend for. I was getting it down to like two minutes, but it was at this point where I couldn't I couldn't do it. But once again, these all of them are going right to my defenses, so it, it worked out really well. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Unit ready. So that that is scary right there. Unit promoted. Unit lost. And the games where I got really close, like within two minutes or whatever I said, was when I lost my battle fortresses to like this round right here. Maybe not necessarily this round, but if I lost my battle fortresses, I was pretty much screwed. So this is what I was talking about. I wanted to preserve this defense setup right here as long as possible, so I I made a decision to kind of stick up for it once those apocalypse tanks hit it. So I turned my battle fortresses around right when they got to it. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Our ally is under attack. Unit promoted. Unit ready. Unit promoted. Our ally is under attack. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Our base is under attack. Unit promoted. Unit ready. And it was at this point too that I realized I was super low on money. Unit lost. But it's Unit really hard to justify grinding those apocalypse tanks when Unit they're so promoted. useful. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. I pretty much ground everything except for the apocalypse tanks. So once again, I'm just waiting for my defenses to take out those masterminds and then I'm going to send, I think I'll send my battle fortresses back in. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Unit ready. Unit lost. Unit promoted. 
Unit promoted. Our ally is under attack. Unit lost. Unit ready. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. And I don't know why, if you look at the bottom left, you see my other Rocketeers. I, I didn't even know they were there. I don't know what they're doing over there, and I don't remember putting them over there, but whatever. There's like a huge stockpile of them sitting over there. And they could have probably made this a hell of a lot easier. So this is the point where I start getting a little overrun, and it was way, way, way worse than this in my other games. But then I noticed those Rocketeers just chilling, I think, right here. And it's like, oh my god, I could probably use those. <laughs> It's just so hard to pay attention to everything because there's just so much visual stimuli <laughs> all at once. It's, it's nuts. Unit promoted. Building. Warning. Iron curtain activated. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Construction complete. Our ally is under attack. Unit lost. Unit lost. Our base is under attack. Our ally is under attack. There we go. Finally noticed that they were just chilling. Would have made this so much easier. Unit lost. Unit promoted. Unit promoted. Warning. Lightning storm created. Our base is under attack. Unit lost. Our base is under attack. I guess this last wave of Yuri's miners is kind of like a no hard feelings round. <laughs> so hard. The biggest challenge for this map though was deciding when to build the Rocketeers and the Discs. Because if you build them too soon, then you get overrun. If you build them too late, you get overrun. And then the last thing to do was to take out the base. And then there was this Eiffel Tower, Prism Tower looking thing. So I took out that, the MCVs. And then I found the nuke power and it was game over. Oh my god. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, because that took me forever to do. I know some of you were saying it couldn't be done. Well, I did it. I'm going to put a link of the map in the description below. So make sure to check it out. See if you guys have any success. If you guys win it, tell me how many times it took you to win. I, I honestly, I didn't keep track, but I can tell you it was, you know, probably 50. But let me know down below what you thought of the map and how long it took you guys to get anywhere on it. And definitely let me know if you guys used a different tactic to win as well. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace!